Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we have a brand new hero collector we're going to take a look at. It is Tom Clancy's Elite Squad. It's been out for about a week or so. I've been playing around with it, having a lot of fun. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this and show you what it's all about. But first, before we do, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest in mobile gaming, or you know, ish, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So Tom Clancy's Elite Squad. This is a hero collector game based off the Tom Clancy franchise. And there are a number of games by Tom Clancy. There's Ghost Recon, there is Rainbow Six, there is Splinter Cell. There is a lot of characters in the Tom Clancy world that this game can pull from. And it is definitely pulling from quite a few of those games. So let's take a look at what this game has to offer first. But before I get ahead of myself, I need to make a couple announcements. First, just as a reminder, all my social media links are in the description of every video. Take a look at that. Join us on Discord. We're talking about a ton of stuff over there. And then I do stream three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. If there's any change in the schedule whatsoever, I do put an announcement out on my community tab. So take a look at that so you can be up to date on what's going on there. All right, so Tom Clancy's Elite Squad this is not a turn-based RPG. I would call this a real-time action RPG <laughs> or a real-time RPG. And you'll see the combat, the characters in the combat will continually attack. It is not, they won't stop and wait for you to make a decision. You do have these combat orders that you have to do in order to kind of steer the course of battle. But we'll go over that here in just a second. So a couple things just kind of right off the bat to go over. We won't go in depth on anything in particular. Just want to give you a good overview of the game. And then we're going to get into some combat. But we have guilds in the game. We have daily ops. So those right there, those are daily challenges that you can do for different types of resources and things that you're going to need in the game to, to level up and improve your characters, your team, things like that. Currently, we have gear, gathering gear materials. We have training materials and we have energy right now as far as daily ops goes and you'll go in there on dailies on sundays sunday's my time at least everything that is available so just to kind of something to keep in there we already have events in the game there are a ton of events in this game already events to get characters events to get different types of rewards all sorts of stuff look at this we got this uh i'm a, this legendary event in here already ghosts in hell we have so many things. We have a raid. We have allies raid in here. There's raids already. You have monthly spec ops. Oh, there's so much stuff in this game. They have already packed in quite a bit. So it makes me wonder. This game has more than a lot of games have when they first launched. So what is there? What else is there to add? Very interested to know that. But right now, Again, they packed so much into this game. You're going to be doing quite a bit for quite a long time just to kind of get a good understanding of what's going on. Your vendor, that's your typical shop where you can spend real money to get things in the game to help you advance a little bit quicker. Your orb depot. So your orb depot, this is kind of your summons and things like that to get characters and gear and stuff. So it takes gold in here typically. Look, at I have uh, something I can claim there for some gear and things like that so there's a lot in here i got some bait i have a basic orb i also have an elite not oh wait not an elite orb. what is that an advanced orb there's just a lot in here there's also an arena orb there as well some basic gear orbs to pull from as well so there's a lot already here so let's go ahead and go back out we have campaign so in the campaign you have umbra allies underworld and close quarters umbra you use heroes and villains allies you can only use allies underworld you can only use underworld and close quarters is restricted to sm so for so submachine guns and pistols which is very very interesting so let's take a look at the characters that you can collect in this game we already have an arena look at that we have arena and we have a coming soon over there what is else is there to put in this game maybe a tower mode or something like that very interested to see what these guys come up with but let's go into my soldiers here and let's take a look at the characters you can collect right now. So the artwork, it took me a little bit of time to get used to the artwork. But uh, you know what? It's growing on me. I've seen it before. It's not too bad. So up here, if you take a look under his name, what is it? M Montagne? Montagne? I don't know. But Guardian and Dutiful. So when you go into those daily ops, 
it will call out one of those things, guardians, or maybe it's everybody who with the dutiful tag, or maybe it's everybody with the resourceful tag, or maybe it's technicians, or maybe it's a combination, or maybe it's allies, or maybe it's underworld. They throw a lot of that stuff at you. So these tags here are very important. So here's Midas. Here is uh, Alex. Alex Nolan, I see. So I can't spin him around, but Alex Nolan is uh, very early support. Really the only support right now that I've run into that can heal. So he's support and he's enduring. Let's take a look at some other characters. David Crenshaw is here. Megan. You can see the different types of uh, tags they have too. Striker and Composed. This guy's kind of cool. Walker. Here's Ning Wang. Technician and Enduring. we got another one here. Point Man. There's a new one that we haven't seen yet. Carson Moss. This is a new one that I just recently got. I can't remember the name of this art style, but I've seen, like I said, I've seen it before. Ryan, another point man. Here's Isaac, Splinter Cell dude, with the three things on there. I haven't looked too deeply into the background of all these different characters, but um, there's quite a few here. Here's uh, Emil, <laughs> Ricardo Diaz. So it's just some cool stuff. So as we take a look at these characters too, so you can improve these characters in the typical ways. You can level up, level them up. So you can see I have train there. You also have gear down here at the bottom left, gear grade one. Right now I've gotten as high as gear grade three, and it's just going into different battles and things like that and farming what you need in order to improve your gear. You also have this. I haven't seen this really too much, but uh, right here you get you have to get blueprints in order to upgrade your weapon so right now i don't have what i need to upgrade to an m1911 it is locked right now but it does tell me that i need a certain number of blueprints here let me go back out um, these are your basic blueprints for the most part and then the other one here these are advanced blueprints here we go advanced blueprints but you have to have the, you have to have the blueprint or you have to have the I can't remember what they call it in this game, but in order to unlock this, same with the uh, Epic and the Legendary there as well. So it's more than just the blueprints. You need the patterns. I'm going to call them patterns for now in order to unlock them as well. So you improve their weapons. You improve their gear. You improve their level. You also improve their star level. So right now, this guy is star level one. Once I get 20 pieces of him, then he'll go to star level two. So your typical advancement that way as well. And uh, there's quite a few characters in here. I'll just run through the roster here really quick. A, few, uh, a couple new ones like Coda. I just got Coda. Um, no, 43 of 100. Never mind. I haven't unlocked Coda. I've got some pieces of Coda. So here's some other characters as well. Marcus Brown, Charles Bliss, Bronson, Caviera. Looks pretty cool. I mean, look at that. Striker, resourceful. So lots of characters already in this game to collect. There are 77 total. Right now I have 14 unlocked. There's GIU. I see GIU and it reminds me, and I just see Glue, which is another developer. But anyway, I think it's funny. Anyway, uh, there's Kestrel. Has those green eyes like on uh, Splinter Cell. Now it doesn't have... Look at this. Just some cool characters there. Virgil. All right. So that is what the game has to offer. So let's go ahead and jump into battle and see what it's all about. You also have daily objectives. I'll just point that out really quick. Daily objectives, campaign objectives, arena objectives, all sorts of stuff in the game. Things that you would typically find in these types of games. So let's go ahead and jump into a campaign. And you'll see what I mean by... Let's go into allies. I'm working my way through this one right now. So you see the skill rating there is 7,200. The team I'm going to take in to there right now is probably around, yep, 13,600 right there. And you have these combat orders. Now, these combat orders, I can swap them out. You have different ones here. So you have a barrier, which erects a barrier. Once uh, I have a, an option now where I can spend this currency here, I have 954 of it. And I can unlock one of two upgrades to this shield all allies in a medium radius for 10 percent health or immediately taunt the closest enemy for five seconds so you'll see that here in uh with another ability that i chose to put that in we have focus fire we have an airstrike here so focus fire focuses everything on one character airstrike is just exactly that this one right here combat order this is the one that i chose so i upgraded this and you can choose 
which one should I instantly restore 10% health to the target ally or should I or should combat aid have a 6 meter radius rather than the regular 4 meter radius I went with the 6 meter I think that the larger it is the better I think the health that I'm getting from it's okay this is really cool recharge this recharges the abilities of the character and um, they're not something that you that you click on to have them do once their action bar gets full uh fills up then they do it automatically and it's based on who they have targeted you can't really target in this game unless you have that single target this one right here unless you go ahead and do this focus fire and then you have an emp and that uh, removes the ability charge from a selected enemy so that basically stops them from using their ability so we're gonna go ahead and pop out of here i use recharge and the health i think that works out really well and then uh, if i hold on this just to kind of show the abilities here right here abilities uh, i only have one right now once i get up to rank four which is four star and then you have a rank uh rank eight i'm assuming it's eight star i uh, maybe not maybe the rank isn't the star level i don't know we will find out maybe it's the gear level i don't know yet i'm still learning a little bit on this one but right now fully deploy Larock and taunts the two closest enemies for five seconds which is cool and once i get to rank four then for every 25 percent health missing receives 100 percent armor this guy obviously is a tank so um, you can go ahead and check out kind of the different abilities and stuff that they have right there all right all right i think i've rambled on enough about the basics of the game let's go ahead and jump into battle it is an energy-based system, so you have a certain amount of energy to use throughout the day, and you got to wait for it to regen. You do have skip tickets and things like that, so you can auto-win. I'm going to go ahead. I like uh, recharging this guy right off the bat because he throws a drone out. Watch this. He's going to throw in a drone out. Or was that the wrong one? He did a taunt, actually. I think that was the wrong one, but that's okay. But see, they do the auto-battle here. I'm going to go ahead and just do this heal right here. You can see that bubble. And it, uh, it's an AoE heal, which is nice. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Where is this guy that I like to use? It's him, right? You could also move the battlefield as well, just to get a better idea of what's going on. I'm going to do this again. No, Yeah, there it is. There's the drone. All right. It, the drone's a little hard to see, but uh, the drone goes out and then does an explosion. You just kind of sit back. I'm going to actually put healing on this guy out here. Inefficient because there's nobody else near him, but he's a healer, so he's going to go up. He's going to heal this guy right there. Let's do somebody else. Let's, uh, what about this guy right here? Right there. He does that. He does that attack, so you see that red telegraph on the ground. He does an attack that blinds your opponents. And there we go. We'll get it through this pretty easy. And that's the battle. So let's go ahead and let's jump into another one. So when you go through here, as you can see up at the top under victory, you have clear casualties and one minute, 30 seconds. So you can three star these in order to auto win them. You need to clear all three of these. So first you need to clear it. Second, you need to have zero casualties. And third, you need to beat it under the time limit that it gives you. So in this one, it's one minute, 30 seconds. I'm currently level 22. And there's one more thing I wanna show you. So we're gonna go ahead and run through this battle here. And there's one more thing that, that I wanna show you that I think is really cool. Because every single time that you get a level in this game, you also unlock something cool or you get something cool. So let's go ahead and do this really quick. Get this drone going. Drone's gonna go out. Boom, takes out that guy in the top. Go ahead and do a quick heal while my healer so that bar underneath their health the white bar that is their heat uh that's their health underneath that there's that's their i'm going to call action bar here's the dude there he's going to get the blind on everybody there which is nice there we go wave two we're at one minute what was that one minute three uh so the objective up there i have less than a minute now to clear through this um, I'm going to actually do this one here. We should throw out the turret there. You can see that turret on the ground there attacking. And then let's go ahead and heal as well. We have 49 seconds to clear it. We'll clear it. We'll be good. But as far as these tackle orders and things like that, and, and these things here, 
with the battle, how you use them, how quick you use them, who you use them on, all plays into the strategy of this game, which I think is pretty cool. It makes up for not managing the attacks of every single of every single character on your team. All right, so there's that. One more thing I want to show you. So right over here, um, you see my name, Unstable Gamer, right there at the top left. If you look to the right, you see that little that lock. So I'm going to click on that really quick. This is this tells you what you get. I'm going to go all the way over here to the very beginning and just show you. So at level one, that's your initial level, right? At level three, you unlock guild. I think that's probably the earliest the earliest I've ever seen a game unlock. Uh, at level four, you get combat aid. That's that one. Uh, that's that one order combat order that I use. You open up events at level five. You get an orb, new soldier. There's a new character there that you get. Recharge. You unlock at level nine. Campaign right there tells you you unlock at ten. So. As you kind of work through this, it tells you exactly what you're working for. And every single level, you're getting something. So let's go ahead and take a look. Right now, level 22, I just unlocked order tactics. So once I hit 23, I'm going to get a new, invet, uh, a new event for Enrica, the Enrica event. I'm going to get some advanced gear at level 24. 25, we're going to unlock campaign underworld. Uh, we get an orb at 26. So as you can kind of see here, we get more uh, we get more stuff here as we continue. Every single level, you get something. You get orbs, or you get characters, or you get there or campaigns unlock. I don't know what spooky ghosts is at level 36, but we get spooky ghosts. We can probably click the eye there. Spooky ghosts unlock new avatar portrait. There you go. So there's always something here. I think it's really cool, um, and it goes all the way up. I think max level is 50. No, max level is 60. So look at that. You get something every single level all the way up to level 60. So I thought it was pretty cool. So I wanted to make sure to show that to you. All right, everybody. That's what I had for you. This is Tom Clancy's Elite Squad. I'm having a lot of fun with it. There is a lot packed up into this game. I think it's great. I think it's awesome to have so much content to work through in the very beginning and early stages of the game. This game's only been out for about a week or so. But I am kind of curious. What is there left to do later on down the road? There could be some great stuff coming. It could be new raids, could be new game modes that maybe we haven't really seen. Could be a tower mode. I don't know. But there is a lot of cool stuff in this game. I am really liking it. I'll probably keep up on this game. Let me know if you want to see more videos on that. Hit thumbs up and things like that. Get Leave me comments in the comment section down below. Just let me know kind of how you're feeling and if this is something that you want to see on this channel. But here is the game. Check it out and let me know your thoughts. All right, everybody. That is what I had for you today. As always, I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and, show your, and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you next time.